I have had 79 fire making for a long ass time, so I thought let's just hit 80 because it looks a lot more fancy. So there we go, 80 fire making. We actually had monthlies just reset, so I'm actually going to be doing the troll invasion and the oyster just after these three kills that I'm going to be doing. So let's see what the first loot is and we get an even more magic seed. This boss is a fucking joke, man. And by the way, that's kill, I think, should be the magical number. Wait, can I, can I type? Please, I, I cannot type. That's the magical number of 69. Seventh kills and still no leg piece, but we're going to get it now, so it's good. Th that is no leg piece. We have actually like 70 Saradomi flasks in the bank, which is actually pretty good. Let's see what we can get for the last loot. Please it be something good. Oh, two onyxes. That's actually really good. So let's bank that. At least it's money if I don't really need it to recharge these, but they are 77%, so I guess it's pretty good to get onyxes for recharging, but... Overall, they're really good alchemy money anyway, so I'm happy with them no matter what, but let's go and do that oyster and the troll invasion. Please, for once, can we get something good this month? I- Please! Come! Oh, I need nature runes. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. And we will just keep putting this in herb lore because as soon as I'm not 96, I still need to boost and that is quite annoying, so let's just do that and get 67,000 experience. That is decent. Alright, so for the past days I've not really been able to log on to RuneScape, I've been on like a few minutes and I've also been doing some other stuff as well on Old School, that's another story, but I have really not been able to play much at all. So I haven't really made any progress except, except those Araxor kills, the monthlies, and that's about it honestly. So if you don't give a shit about what's been happening for the past few days, then you can just jump to a timestamp that will be in the middle of the screen, and I thank you all for continue watching. Now. If you do care, I have actually been playing Legion, World of Warcraft, when it was released. And I've been doing that for the th past three days, like, pretty much constantly, meanwhile working as well. So I've been really busy. And the reasons why I prioritized that over RuneScape, which I usually don't do if a new game comes out, I still, you know, play a lot of RuneScape. So the reasons why I did that is because World of Warcraft I've been playing since 2005. And it's been it was officially released 2004, so I've been playing it since release, kind of, pretty much, right? And um, I've spent so much time into that game, and I've also worked with websites for that game, and all kinds of things, and I, you know, uh, I'm, I'm decent at the game, I would say myself, and I've spent so much time being good at the game, then... That just, you know, when something new comes out and you have to rush to actually get to a point and you want to stay actually active in the game and not turning to someone who has like no idea what the hell is going on, which I don't want to ever get to in that, in that game. It sounds really nerdy, right? You're like, well, it doesn't matter if you're not that good. But it kind of does because the people that I play with in that game who are my friends and all that kind of stuff, I want to be able to play with them and they're pretty good, right? So I need to stay up to their standards and if I don't, I cannot play with them. I can talk to them, but I can't actually have fun and do activities in the game with them, which is something I really want to do. So, uh, that's why I decided to, for like the past three days, just stay really active on the game, level up to 110, which is the new level cap, and get everything done, and now I can actually focus a bit more on RS when it's not, you know, the hype anymore. So that's why it took so long for this video to get out. So, it, it's a kind of a one-time thing. Don't worry, it's not really going to happen like this again. Ooh, that's a uh, 8 Lawrence, decent. But anyways, that was that, and I hope you guys keep enjoying this video. Now, uh, that's a lot of items from a hard clue, but it's nothing interesting really, it's just alkyballs, but I kind of need money now anyways. I did get those two onyxes before, which is really good money, but any more money than that is obviously pretty good. So we have actually done 378 hard clues, so in 12 more, no, not 12, 22 more, I will actually have hit 400 clues, which is pretty goddamn good. Legit the first kill that I do on this trip. Look, four kills on Samurai and I killed all the minions and everything. I get Elite Clue Scroll. That's probably the best drop I could get. Maybe like something that I can augment, like a gown or something, would not be that bad. But I want to do Clue Scrolls now, so this is going to be pretty cool. So from that one trip that I did on Greater Demons, I got Elite Clue Scroll and Hard Clue Scroll, so we're going to be doing that in just a second. But first I'm going to be disassembling this level 10 magic. That's not how you do it. How do you do it then? Wait. Wait, wait, this is not how you do it. Alright, so I'm going here, and then this one, and then on this one. 
There you go. Good job. Good job. That took you some time, man. Anyways, let's uh, disassemble that for uh, shit tons of experience, and that got me to 44. And now in the chat, it's going to say I hit 40 in all skills, so soon I'm going to get some whispers, I guess. But never mind, no one cares about me. But anyways, let's reclaim and get the, um, the other one. And there you go. So let's just do the elite one and the hard one, and can we get something good from that? Hopefully. Alright, so let's open the hard one first and see what we get from that one. And we get some Alkyballs, actually two rune two hands. Alright, it's nothing really that interesting, so let's just get on with it and open the elite one. I don't remember if we can reroll this one, but let's see if we can. We cannot, and that's a lot of noted items and pretty bad reward actually. 40k, I've, I don't know if I've got 40k before, but overall, that was pretty shit. So yet again, I'm going to be doing three Araxor kills, and the first one gives two Onyxes. That is not bad at all. I have no idea why, but the kills today are so slow. It feels like my Sun Spear isn't doing anything, but let's see what the second loot is, and we get Dwarf Weed Seeds. This boss, man. Alright, so this is going to be the loot from the third kill, but I actually died one time, and I'm actually going to be showing you guys a clip of that now. I'm not sure if this is, like, what kind of lag this is, but my mouse, like, lagged when I dragged it on the screen from one side of the screen to the other one, and I clicked away, and my character didn't move, so I got swiped in the last phase, and it really sucks when that happens, and it's not the first time, it's the second time it happens. Overall, though, it's just so discouraging when it happens, and it takes, you know, 10 minutes for me to do one kill with a goddamn Sun Spear, so it's, it's like 10 minutes long and it's kind of annoying. Anyways, let's see what we get for the third kill. Please be something good. Oh, two onyxes again. The, uh, you actually, I, I realized something. As I use 600k to make one of these augmented sun spears, that's like 500k experience, roughly. It's 523k. And one of these is like 1.1 million. So you could say roughly it's like 1 million experience in an invention for each onyx you get if you alk them for money. So that's pretty good. This is like 2 million invention experience right there. So I'm really happy with that. I think this is number 380 hard clues, so let's see what we get from that one. And oh nice, we can reroll it, so that's pretty cool. Um, well this one is not that interesting, so let's just reroll it real quick. Is this trimmed? No, it's not trimmed. Alright, confirm that into a trimmed item, but it looks like an age item, which... Yeah, I already have that. Unfortunately, I already have all the age items, I think, so 380 hard clues, neat. Alright, so I just got an effigy from a Criara trip, and I also have a hard clue scroll in the bag, so we will be doing that in just a bit, but I, I hope I can get an elite as well on this trip, but by the way, all of these effigies are going to go into farming experience, and also I can unlock some of the steps, so those steps that I can unlock I obviously do, like crafting and herb lore, and there might be something else as well, but essentially every skill that's 91 I might be able to unlock, so it's pretty decent experience, and it's not as bad as it used to be. By the way, I wasn't doing Criara just because I felt like doing Criara. It was actually because I had an Avianci task, so we got a good amount of slavery experience from that, and we're actually getting really close to 98 defense. Look at that, 64,000. But also, I have been doing four slayer assignments just today, and I got the Yanodermy Beast, Vire Watches, and something, something else. I can't remember the other two. Uh, but that was pretty good, and we did have actually 102 slayer on that, so we have 17.6 million, almost 7.7 .7 million slayer experience. But yeah, I didn't really get anything from that Criara trip. I the whole trip on the Slayer assignment, I have zero left, uh, but we did get one hard clue from the kill count, so let's see what we get from the clue scroll, hopefully it's- come on, are you serious, how many steps do I have to do, this is step number seven. Anyways guys, this is actually going to be the end of the video when I open this clue scroll, and I'm sorry that it was so short, but I've just not had the time, and it's been like eight days since my last video, so I just wanted to make you guys actually have something to watch, you know, from me at least, I know you watch uh, probably a bunch of other YouTubers as well, but I just felt like it's pretty shitty that I haven't uploaded in eight days, but I've been so busy, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video, so can we please end it in on a good note, please? What the fuck? That's an age one item. I have all age items. I have all of them. At least a combo. But anyways, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.